The big question is, will it be...
The vice president arrived two hours late, delayed earlier today by a minor accident on the runway at National Airport in Washington. He spoke earlier this afternoon in San Antonio to the National Defense Transportation Association where he called Senator George McGovern frighteningly naive about negotiating with the Soviet Union. After shaking hands with a small crowd at the airport, Mr. Agnew focused on the administration's stand on the release of American prisoners of war. Agnew will spend the night in Arlington and speak to the National Association of Retired Federal Employees in Fort Worth tomorrow morning. Addressing the same group tomorrow will be George McGovern and our Sergeant Shriver. Jim Green, Channel 8 News on the... Commissioner Skeet Richardson called two weeks ago for each member of the court to place a personal representative on the board of directors at Lena Pope Home. Following a week's contemplation, the court decided that to add more people to the 40-member board would be of no advantage, so they wanted their representatives to replace current members of the board. Well, another week has passed now, and this morning the court voted to name five people to that board with a stipulation that if any of them was rejected by the home, they would all be considered rejected. There apparently were those in the courtroom this morning who accused the court of a bit of political tomfoolery. So County Judge Howard Green and Commissioners Jerry Mabus and Dick Anderson held a separate session here in Green's office in the courthouse just before lunch. They decided they'd name as their representatives people already serving on the board. The names of the appointees will probably come out tomorrow, although they were not to have been named until next Monday. Commissioner Dick Lewis, who reacted most vociferously in calling for an investigation of the home by commissioners, told me this morning he hasn't had time yet to get by for a visit. Jerry Taft, Channel 8 News on the Move at the courthouse in Fort Worth. We have had a request from a member of Congress to look into the various aspects of the Postal Service here in Texas since the major reorganization of the Postal Service. Is the Dallas region selected? My answer to that would be that as Dallas being one of the major centers in the state will certainly be considered, but as yet it has not been officially selected. How soon would you expect to get down to investigating this complaint? I hope within the next several weeks, as soon as we can get a staff to undertake the project. And what do you anticipate the outcome to be? That sort of information, Jim, why we can't make available.
This neighborhood in East Dallas has, in the past six months, been the scene of a rape, a murder, and a burglary, as well as a number of other crimes. Today, three of those cases are on the way to being solved. Hosa Lee McNeil, shown here in custody of Dallas police officers, was arrested yesterday afternoon as he carried away a bedspread filled with appliances and other loot taken from the home of last Saturday's rape victim. This morning, the 35-year-old ex-convict was taken into detective's office for questioning and charged with the April murder of 80-year-old Mrs. Irene Brackett and the rape and burglary of a 69-year-old woman, Mrs. Mabel Stilley. Policemen told me that they never could have caught the man without the help of the people of the neighborhood. One neighbor flagged down a patrolman after seeing a strange man enter the Stilly home. And two boys pointed out a man whom they said ran from this house later. And the victim had engraved her appliances with police computer identification numbers. For Channel 8 News and the Move, this is Judy Hanna. There are changes to be made in our laws that will permit the law enforcement officials, the court officials, and the correctional officials to function more effectively. Please become aware of what those legislative changes are that we are talking about now, understand them, and those which you feel will make the criminal justice system more effective, support those and support them strongly. It's been my position uh, consistently that Hanoi is using a handful of POWs to uh, raise the hopes of the many American families who have boys who are prisoners of war in Vietnam, and that they are just exploiting uh, these few people for their own propaganda gains. Now, if they were really serious about the prisoners, they would adhere to the Geneva Conventions, and they'd allow the International Red Cross to inspect these prisoners, as has been customary, and they would deal with the duly elected government of the United States instead of with every dissident anti-war group who is attempting to uh, make the contact on behalf of, uh, of mainly of themselves more than of the prisoners, in my judgment. I think in uh, one sense, I have a unique qualification, having worked in the executive branch, uh, the White House, Justice Department, United States District Attorney, and also being able to know uh, members on both sides of the aisle. I would say I probably know more than uh, Mr. Tower does after 11 years there. If he, however, presents to us credible facts and information or where we can get credible facts and information that Senator Tower is violating the law, we're going to investigate it and we're going to treat Senator Tower just the same way as we would anybody else. <laughs> 